every four years somebody must die for them to renew a covenant that's very true your mother and your uncle they are operating with the spirit of a snake i came here to seek for uh, refuge and as i was coming over here i have a dream that night and i saw a snake and i cut the head of the snake why i was in the airplane to come here my sister called me from congo she said that our uncle because there were two of them one is dead one is still that patrick prophet you just say he's still alive but the other one he died patrick is very rich patrick is very rich he's very rich yeah the guy is rich he's... but the source of the money will blow your mind i see a lot of politicians around and i see this man is like celebration and every four years somebody must die for them to renew a covenant that's very true he is in a politics too instead of being in a family house where people was crying he was having a big feast a in big the city party. in a city in brazil okay there is a chimpanzee, chimpanzee holding a key the key is your church key yes. they have locked your church yes. your church yes. they have locked it so you open the church physically but the spiritually the church is locked not even one soul will enter there the only thing that will enter there is your own blood that will enter there yes no member everybody left only me and my wife and my children the attack of this man is so heavy that they have stopped him they have warned him not to come here he disobeyed to come here they want to kill him when he returned back the wife that this man have married is a good woman there have been an opening so the enemy want to use the wife to destroy not only him but destroy their relationship to be continued previously on forensic prophecies now what is happening is that for you to know what i'm talking about the demon is so demonic and problematic to the point that even the aircraft that this man bothered to come on several occasions they first of all dealt with the aircraft the demon shut the whole aircraft computer the demon touch it yes. so i see a plane and they have to move to another plane even the second plane there was another trouble yes yes, yes prophet since thursday night though i booked the ticket i wanted to book ticket a long time ago and always something was happening something was happening so on thursday i booked a ticket so it was expensive i was like it's too expensive i cannot go i was just like no i have to go so i push myself around five o'clock i get to the bathroom i took a shower as i was leaving home it was like it was not me i was just pushing myself i get to the airport i mean i've been traveling but this one i don't know what happened i enter the airplane the airplane could not move the pilot came and said the computer is not working we have to reboot the computer of the airplane we have to do what to reboot reboot the computer the computer of the airplane though they rebooted it it could not work so they have to switch us to another airplane so i enter the next airplane on our way it was turbulent you have no idea i was just praying until i got here but after this man returned that person behind would die i'm going to open your church door for you new people will come into the church the church of god will not struggle again please with faith clap your hands and begin to pray ministers lift your voice let's deliver this man i command let it be broken come up lose it right now by fire we command let every struggle pray There are some people who are dead in their family, but their blood is still speaking. Whose blood is working in your family? Every person has a connection to a blood. It takes a blood to bring person into initiation, and it takes a blood to break initiation. No mighty manifestation happens without a blood. The Lord shed unto Cain, your brother's blood is crying for you against you so in every blood there is a voice that speaks everyone who walks in life there are two voices that are speaking either the blood of wickedness
forgiveness or the blood of Christ. Blood carry revenge. The ultimate purpose of a blood is to seal, close, cover. There is nothing spiritual without blood. Blood is the invitation of deities. Bring blood out. Something must respond. Welcome to Miracle Arena for all nations. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Our spiritual father has encouraged us to be in a mood of praise. How many you how many of you did your praise on last night? How many of you have been praising today? Can you help us worship the Lord tonight? Come on, stand on your feet. Wave your hand and give the Lord a mighty praise. Thank Him for His mighty acts. Thank Him for the good things that He has done. Thank Him for waking you up this morning. Thank Him for setting you in your right mind. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Oh, my soul. Do it magnify the Lord and my spirit praise his name. Come on, give him a breath praise tonight as we honor him in the beauty of holiness. Hallelujah. Come on and put your hands together. If your neighbor is sitting down, I want you to lift them up and ask them to stand and dance with me and give the Lord a praise. What's up? 
praises today. You are worthy of my praises today. Alpha, Alpha, Omega. You are worthy. You are worthy of my praises today. You are worthy, you are worthy of my praises today. Alpha, Alpha, Omega. You are worthy. You are worthy of my praises today. You are worthy. You are worthy of my praises today. Alpha, Alpha, Omega. You are
nothing of him. He deserves all the glory. He deserves all the honor. Who can be compared to this man? No one can sustain him. No one can control him. No one can find him. He's the great I am. The lily of the valley. And that is Jesus. We are here to honor you. We are here to bless you. We are here to glorify you. We are here to shout back you. We are here, we are here for you. We are here for you, Jesus. Accept our praise as a sweet aroma coming up to your nostrils. Let our worship ascend to you. Come on, wave your hands. We gonna declare, let your fire fall. Let your fire fall. Shed out of the Messiah. Let your fire fall. Cause shed out of the Messiah. Let your power fall. To strong for you are mighty it's strong fight this bed for me and my Lord believe so I can tell all my friends that you have won Okay. Is this the cry of your heart tonight? Lift up your hands and worship him. Let your power fall. When your name is called out, prove the thou to Jesus, you alone are mine and strong. I said, find this battle for me. Help my own belief that so I can tell all my friends, Jesus, that you are the one. You are already one. You have won again. You have won again. You have won again. You have won again. You have won.
kitchen I say hallelujah by the glory hallelujah amen hallelujah by the glory Revive us, revive us, revive us, revive us, oh, revive us again. When the glory comes, There'll be no words to say. Oh, oh, oh. When the glory comes, and there'll be no words to say. Oh, oh, oh. Daddy Jesus. I say when the glory comes And there'll be no words to say Oh, oh, oh. oh God When the glory comes And there'll be no words to say We cry Oh, oh, oh. Hear the song in my spirit. You call me out upon the waters, the great unknown, <laughs> where feet may fail. And there I find you in the mystery, in ocean's deep. My faith will stand And I will call upon your day oh, I'll keep my heart above the wind One ocean's We 
give you praise, oh God. We give you glory, oh God. My God, in this presence tonight, oh God, we come to give you praise, oh God. We come to give you adoration. We come to lift up your name, oh God. My God, tonight, oh God, oh God, from our hearts, oh God, we come to give you praise, oh God. We worship, oh God, and we bless your holy name. Hallelujah. Soul winning. Common sense of God. Soul winning. With God, everything is possible indeed. Hallelujah. We're going to read from the book of Luke chapter 8 verse 17. He said, for nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest. Neither anything that he will hide from us. That shall not be known and come abroad. So tonight we are praying in this month of manifestation. Manifestation cannot be hidden. Do we know that manifestation of God cannot be hidden? It's something that God will always relate to us. So tonight in this month of manifestation, we are praying that man, we will experience manifestation, unusual manifestation from every side. In this month of manifestation, somebody open up your mouth and tell the Lord, may I see manifestation? May I see unusual manifestation? In this month, oh God, Lord Jesus Christ, may we see manifestation in our praises. May we see manifestation in our finances, in our businesses, oh God. May we see manifestation. Ask the Lord tonight. Say, Father, may I enter into a different manifestation of your power tonight in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh God, may we experience unusual manifestation. Manifestation that will take us to a different level. Manifestation, oh God, Lord Jesus, that will draw many unto you. Somebody open up your mouth and pray and tell the Lord say father in this month of manifestation may I experience unusual manifestation on every side tonight in the name of Jesus hallelujah we welcome both everyone both online and those who are in service tonight we welcome you guys for being in the presence of the Lord tonight. In the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. So somebody give the Lord a praise of joy unto the Lord tonight. Those of you, wherever that you are watching from in your house, give the Lord a strange praise tonight. Hallelujah. We're going to do thanksgiving a little different tonight because we want to see tangible manifestation. So tonight when we take our thanksgiving, uh, the Bible says in Psalms 95 verse 2, the NIV version said it very nice. It said, let us come before him with thanksgiving and exalt him with music and song. So when you come in with your, your, your thanksgiving tonight, you're not just coming with an empty hand, just with an envelope, but you're going to lift up your instrument tonight and you're going to come before the throne of grace. When you are giving him your thanksgiving tonight, let your thanksgiving carry a praise. Let it carry a song tonight. So so take your thanksgiving uh, while you are coming make sure you have your instrument uh, when the choir starts uh, give him a praise tonight uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth hallelujah come on put your hands together right here come on we're gonna prophesy that this year the Lord go ahead of us Wave your hand unto the Lord. Wave your hand unto the King. 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 Wave your hand unto the Lord. Wave your hand unto the Lord. This year, God, you go ahead of me. This year. You're aligning everything. Uh, this year, things are falling in place for me. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. This year, all the land will leave for me. I say, this year, God, you go ahead of me. This year, you're aligning everything. Uh, this year, things are falling in place for me. Whoa, oh. Hello, Miracle Arena family, viewers from home. 
God bless you. The presence of God is here. Jesus is here. And it's also time for thanksgiving. We give thanks to God because the Bible said, give thanks to the Lord for He is good and His mercy endures forever. One of the main reasons we give thanks to Him is because His mercy endures forever. Another reason is because He is good. So I encourage you, where you are sitting right now, go to miraclearena.ca. You can give thanksgiving donation with your credit card and also we have cash pay as well. So go to miraclearena.ca and give your thanksgiving. And God will make sure that your thanks will always be full. God bless you. Thank you. In a world where innocence is stolen and lives are shattered, there is a silent epidemic that robs millions of their freedom and dignity. But in the darkness, there are voices rising, voices determined to break the chains of human trafficking. Join us for an event like no other Voices Against Trafficking, a community awareness event. An event where voices unite to shine a light on the signs, the stories, and the solutions to combat human trafficking. This isn't just a statistic. These are real lives, real people, whose voices have been silenced. His Excellency Prophet Dr. Kofi Danso and the International Association of World Peace Advocates in collaboration with Covenant House Toronto invites you to join us on April 6th at 5 p.m. Voices Against Trafficking, a community awareness event. Together, let's make a difference. There is invitation and inhabitation. When people are dancing and praising God and you are not responding to praises and worship, you are avoiding God. When you are going to worship Him, worship is not only by lifting of hands, but worship is a demonstration of your praises to Him. And anytime you demonstrate your praise to Him, He demonstrates His power towards you. Praising itself is a warfare. Worship is a worship. When you worship, things happen. Now, every believer must be a deliverer, but you cannot be a deliverer until you are a dancer. Meditation levitates. Dancing turn around things. Why? Because dancing is what heaven is more. Miracle Arena put your hands together as we now receive the Lord's servant, His Excellency, Prophet Dr. Kofi Danso. He will sing hallelujah. Please lift your hands and let's worship. Oh,
precious hands and thank him thank him intentionally thank him with meaning be intentional be intentional be intentional about this thanksgiving meaning out of your heart you want to tell him if nobody is here to worship you i'm here to honor you i'm here to give you the praise i'm here to return you the worship i am very intentional about this oh jesus i thank you i weigh my challenges and i compare your love towards me i weigh my problems and i compare to your love towards me and i have concluded to say thank you thank you please lift your hands and say father i want to thank you among everyone here i'm grateful thank you for loving me this much and this far thank you for your mercy thank you for your provision thank you for your guidance and thank you for making me special in jesus mighty name clap your hands add your voice to it oh i say add your voice unto the lord amen give somebody high five tell them it's good to have you Check on them for me. How are they doing today? How was their day? Was their day like the weather? Or their day was better than the weather? Thank you so much for coming. God bless you. Amen.
standing beside and ask the person excuse me what what makes you happy in life what makes you happy as a, what makes you happy in life I will let them know. I will. I will let them know. 
Church is the best church in the whole world. Hallelujah. I want you to clap your hands for the one standing close to you. And look at them and tell them, I celebrate you. Let's love on the woman of God with the love of the Lord. Thank God for her life. Hallelujah. What a blessed moment in the presence. Please take your seat. How many of us joined yesterday? Praise. You joined from your house? Good. So from tomorrow going, I'll need videos. I want to see how you and your family are dancing. It's 30 days intentional praise. We're giving God a reason to dine in with us. Amen. A reason to manifest. A reason to show up. A reason to do things in our life. Tonight we will be back again on the praise challenge. Our desire is that at the end of 30 days, you become the song of your family. Amen. Oh, I didn't hear that. Amen. Amen. You will become the song of your family. Amen. You know, you will bear with me that there are some people in our families who are prayer point. <laughs> you, don't, you don't know. You don't understand. Are you hearing me? There are some people, if they were never born in your family, there are some prayers you never pray. There are people who are prayer, serious prayer point in your family. When you hear of them, you must increase your prayer. You must start dodging bullets. When you hear of them, you must take the whole armor of God. You know, there are some times you just have to pick one shield and just cover one side of yourself. But there are some family members, because they are in the family, you have to carry the whole armor, the whole just pray not only the ammo, use ammo car in God. Patrol, angels, and assignment. But then there are some people in the family who are like prayer and praises when you hear of their name. Just imagine that your uncle was Moses or your father was Elijah. You just compare your, your father current stage to Elijah. <laughs> you know that the prayer point and the praises are very far. But I am believing God for you Amen. that within the 30 days you will change the story in the house. Amen. Will you look at somebody and tell the person, I don't know about you, but I'm willing to change my story. Are you sure? Be willing. Be willing. Most of the times when we come into the presence of God, we happen to forget that. We are not here because of friends. Although we came and made friends, we came and have enjoyed the family, but we are here because there is a burden in the family that is alarming. Amen. That we've been sent into the presence of God to change those things. Today I want to speak to you on your calling. And this is not a sermon. It's not a sermon at all. It's just 
I want to talk to people who are serious, who actually want to fulfill God's assignment for their lives. Is anybody here like that? Yes. You have a calling. Let me see your hands. You have a calling. You don't know that even here you are sitting is a calling. In life, is it that God have called you, you call yourself or the devil have called you? There is nobody walking anywhere without a calling. Everybody has a calling. Everybody has what? You know, there are people who, whose assignment and calling is to disturb you. They are called for you. They are, their job in their life is to... There are some people, you know, there are some, there are some guys, they have called to be womanizers. They are, you don't know. Oh, so you have been walking naive like that. You don't know like... Hey, who bewitch you like this? There are some men, their calling is to be womanizers. They, unless they, they, don't, they don't see you a woman, they will lie you, they will follow. <laughs> oh, God. And there are some women. You see, they don't want me to say it. When I said the men, you were just like, ah, yes. I cannot talk about women also. Are you hearing me? There are some women, the assignment is to make sure that happiness in your life. <laughs> you, will, you will never know what is called peace. Peace. I mean, the assignment, they married you that, look, me, I'm in your life to make sure you will never, one, you will not go to heaven, number two, you will not have peace, number three, you will not settle. <laughs> Are you with me? So everybody has their calling. Like, for example, like the department we have in this church. The people in the church here, there are some people who are called in the certain department. They are not fulfilled if they don't do anything that will bother me. They, they, they have to. They, are, they, are, <laughs> they have been called specifically. There was a, there was some years back. Eh? There was a year back. People would just purposely take the camera and take the carpet. <laughs> that man have not. He have not spoken about two months now. He has too much of peace. It's a it's a problem. They are like Sambolant and Tobiah. The assignment is to make sure that they will frustrate you. And there are people whose job is to make you happy. Oh. The ushers. Only the members can say. The ushers makes you happy. So everybody and their calling. But you know, apart from all this calling, I'm not talking about the normal physical calling that we're looking. I'm talking about the high call of God is high. Somebody say high. high. Yes. When you are called into a higher office, you have to know how to use the office in your duties. Learn how to know the high calling. The Bible says, for we have been called with a higher calling of Christ that we may know the high price. So because it's a higher calling, there is a higher price. People who know this kind type of calling, they do excellent jobs. They are focused in what they are called to do, and they are very, very connected to the one who called them. The first assignment of every call is that you have to know who is calling you. Luke chapter 10 and Luke 11, he called the 12 and called the 70 to himself. I have said this before where many believers have been confusing their calling with their assignment. A call is not an assignment. A call is a higher privilege than even the assignment. Are you hearing me? A call. Um, but I mean, you come. So you see, he has come. 
What makes a call important and relevant is hearing the one who calls you. When he came, he's standing here. But why is it, I've asked this before, why is it, is it is different when somebody is called into the things of God or called in a ministry, he starts working without knowing why he was called. Why didn't he take a mic to preach? I called him. Brother, come. And this guy is just, full. he's not trying to go and stand here and preach or form a church. The reason why a lot of people are called and the caller who called them can use them is because when they were called, they find something to use them, but not the caller to use them. So this man has been called, but the reason why he was called was that first, the caller called you not to assignment, but he called you to himself. He wants you to know him. That is why it is called a higher call. It's not a call into ministry. It's not a call into an assignment. It's a call to the higher God. So your calling is to the higher God. You need to understand this, that you are being called. The second place of the call is sent. You can be called and not sent. And in every sent, there is every instructions that help you to make sure that your call is solid. And because when we were called, we did not wait for the instructions. We did not receive the benefit of the call. Please hear me well. So, in the book of Luke chapter 10, Luke chapter 10, verse 1. After these things, after these things, the Lord appointed over 70 also. The Lord also appointed over 70 uh -huh. and sent them two and two. Send them two and two before his face, before his face, in every city and place, every city and place, whether he himself would come, where he himself will go. Therefore, he said unto them, that he said unto them, the harvest truly is great. The harvest is truly great, but the laborers are few. The laborers are few. I'm calling you because it is scarce to find people to call. Know that the calling is very scarce. Not the job. The job is there, but the people are scarce. And the reason is because I have called a lot of people who call themselves later. So I called them, and when they came in, they now have their own assignments. They are, they are doing their own things. They are doing crusade places, I've not sent them. They are laying hands on people, I've not called them to lay hands. They are prophesying what I've not told them. And the challenge is that whenever a man calls you, come. When I call this man, the, the, the possibility that this man will begin to see and hear and begin to discern and sense is a million percent because when I call him, I call him into my gifts. So he can see, he can hear, he can prophesy. But if he's not careful and he begins to use what he has not been authorized to use, he will break down in course of the ministry. So in calling, it is called into maturity. What is it called into? Maturity. As a person, are you matured enough? You see, it does not matter how a person looks good. You cannot use people who are not matured. There are unmatured people in the kingdom. There are too much people who are not matured at all in the kingdom. So he called them. And maturity will tell you. You see, maturity. Today you understand that maturity has nothing to do with age. There are small people, they are small, small, they are aged, they are not even up to 14 years, but they are very matured. Very matured. That is common in Africa. Here. Come on, it's, it's very common. Common in China. Maturity. What is even maturity? We'll go there. So you call them and say, the harvest, let me tell you, the harvest is big. Don't let the vastness of this harvest confuse you and make you become so much over joyful. Be careful. I'm sending you, but 
be careful. So he sent them. And then verse 3. Look at the instruction he gave to them. Go your ways. Go your ways. Behold, I send you forth. Behold, I send you forth. As lambs. As lambs. Among wolves. Among wolves. Uh -huh. Carry neither purse. Carry neither purse. Nor script. <laughs> Carry no script. Nor shoes. Carry no shoes. And salute no man by the way. Salute to no oh dear. Oh, open throw. You like cause God have called you. You will want to go and make friends. Some people are called. They want to go and make friends. They want to sit down with people, talk with people, and confess. Ah, God who is waiting to talk to you, you no. Know? You are busy running your mouth. Some people run their mouth before they start running your ministry. They run their mouth. Run their mouth. And there are some people who are not even running their mouth. They are not even yet finished called. They are in the process of calling, but they are running their organs. They are running their organs. Before God even, by the time they say, the Lord says, should bless you, their mouth is dirty. Kissing people everywhere. You see, you don't want me to preach. You see, I will stop it and I will go. If you don't want me to preach, I will leave the Bible and I will go. Or I should change the preaching for you. I prophesy this month you will break through. This month you will succeed. This is the man that, that job you are looking for. You will get that job in Jesus' name. If a, that man who must marry you wherever he is, even if he is dead, we command resurrection. You like that preaching? You like the preaching and preaching now or the one before? So we have a lot of people who want God to use them. But they, they, their body is being used. Majority of them are used by my ring kingdom. Yes. They are, they are not confessors of honor. There is no honor in the body. No. Nothing. They are just called. And one of the first things you have to understand is that the moment the, the Lord calls you, the devil also lays his calling. So you are called into three things. Yourself, God, or the devil. And you'll be shocked. Listen to what we told them. He said, go your way. <laughs> that is very, very, that is, to me, it's the most dangerous word ever heard. Go your way. You can do it the way you want it. You can do it the way you want. You can, you can do it the way you want. You can be Calab you, can, you can be a liar. It can be anything. Do it. He gave you the will. The first thing he gives you is that go your way. Because when a person starts doing things their way, it's a proof of independence. Number two, it's a proof that you are matured. There are people here, nobody will have to tell you to go, brush your teeth. There are times you don't brush it, but when you are... You, you, the saint will announce you, say, ah, brush your teeth. As beautiful as you see, you see, when you open your mouth, you hear the thing move like, like. Nobody tells you to take shower. Because armpit is an announcer. Armpit. Armpit. Armpit is not friendly at all. Armpit. Hmm. Sweat is not friendly. Sweat. You'll be hmm, something basa basa be. So maturity is trust. God have to trust. So go your way. He have trust you. Go your way. But I say when you are going your way, be careful you don't greet. There are things that are not necessary for your calling. Especially discussing things that you don't have idea about. The falling of another man. The falling of another church. The church that is of God. The one who is used by the devil. The one who is not. It's not your assignment. That is, You see, you are not being called to be a judge. You are not being called to go and be a referee. You are not being called to go and be a prosecutor. You are not uh, the devil's agent. So, you see, when you have been called, I thank God that in my days, there were no Facebook. In my days, there were no Instagram. In my days, it was limited to radio. Yeah. Then you hear somebody, good evening news. That's all. You didn't hear all these things. Even if there was to pack, it was not big like that. Like 
these days you have everybody. That's why the calling becomes so scarce. But I just want to go further. Continue. He said, don't take anything. Don't take, carry nothing. And say this, hear this. Look at the 22, Luke 22, verse 35. Oh, I love that. That was my prayer point. I just want to share with you. That was my prayer point this afternoon. I was just praying about this. Just enjoying the presence of God with this. And he said unto them. He said unto them. When I sent you. When I sent without you. Without purse. Without purse. And script. And script. And shoes. And shoes. Lacked he anything? Did you lack anything? Your lack is not in prayer. Your, you not lacking. It's not in fasting. It's I sent you. Did you go? And the proof that you went is that did you lack anything? If you truly follow the sending, you will not lack. But let me tell you, it is dangerous for him to send you. It's not nice at all. It's challenging for him to send you. Look at the way he sent the man who was blind. God is the only God who can send a blind man. He said, he spits over his eyes and sent him to go and wash. The Bible says, as, they, as he went and he washed his eyes, he saw. So when he sent you, he does not tell you the challenges you face. He does not check. You see, if he told them that don't take back, don't take script, don't take sandals, that means they will need it. But if you can forsake your needs and seek him need, his need, you will not lack. The challenge is that we are sent and we are not going and we are complaining we are lacking. I am compared to challenge you that the reason why most people are lacking is because you are called all right, but you are not sent where he sent you. You are not doing. And that's why people, ministers, that's why we can say me, me, Krano, I'll stop being a minister. You will lack brutal. Isaac, you, you just decide that you, you, will be, you will stop it and be a carpenter. Nobody will bring you nails, no, not even wood. You will lack brutal. Wow. Am I communicating with somebody? You lacking because you are doing something else. Be careful you don't move from an usher lane and become a camera woman when he sent you to be an usher. Yeah. You will lack. You will lack, I'm telling you. You will lack because there is somebody in the media that will let you change from the media. And you will change thinking that to you, it's convenient for you. But to heaven, it's inconvenient. Oh, heaven don't have supply for you. That place where you are, you chose it, you provide it. You chose it, you will go for it yourself. There is no protection there for you. Yes. This is the reason why I've seen money. I've seen crowd. I'm seeing this thing still. But there's something now, when I travel now, I have to come home. Because that's why I'm, I've been called. I know my assignment. Are you hearing me? I know my assignment. I know what, what I'm called to do. He said, when I sent you, when I sent you, did you lack anything? Mama, he sent me 25 years and over now. I have not lacked anything. 25 years, not small years old. Over decades. He sent me. I have not lacked anything. That's the reason why. He chose me to come and preach this message to you. You are in a place that you are not. You may not even be happy there. But he sent you there. He sent you there. Are you hearing me? He sent you there. It's unbelieving that the pregnant woman doesn't have to see the face of the baby until the baby is born. You can only see the image, but not the face. God never lets you see the complete face of your ministry. You can only have an idea of the ministry. But I guess what he makes you to see, you will see those who are managing the baby. And sometimes you will see the problems that are managing you. Remember when um, Mama was in the hospital, she was lying in a place that 
she was very comfortable and she told the doctor that I'm fine here. The doctor said, no. You are fine, but the baby is not fine. You are fine. The baby is not fine. And then the doctor turned her and she felt pain. And the baby said, yes. Because the more pain you get, the more pain you get, the more openings that happens. Because the pain is making a way. Do you know your pain is making a way? You, you left so soon. He sent you all right. You were going until... That's why Galatians will say, you, you, you started well. Uh, who stopped you? Who stopped you? Started well. And I can't, I, can't, I can't name it. Time will not even permit me to name what will stop you or what will make you change what you are called for. Time will not permit me. The angel met guy and said, you are hungry. Your child is hungry. Where you are, where you are, the place where you are, I can only offer you water. If you want food, go to your address. Because the food is in your address. Where you are, the, the, nobody eats in transition and in transit. Where are you going? Oh, wait. When I get to transit, I'll eat. I'm making a transit at Rome. I'll eat there. You don't eat in your transit. And be careful you don't make your transit your home. So the angel said, go back. Everybody sitting here, there is a code to your call. And there is an address to your home. This is a home address for your spiritual life. There is a code for your calling. And every code of call that God gives to you is the voice of the man or the woman of God that God has called you to listen to. Who sent you? And then he said, when I send you, did you, did you, did you, did you lack anything? Oh, I see lack living your life. Amen. Will you be glad if the Lord tells you that the lack prayer you have been praying about today, I came to solve it. You will not lack a house. You will not lack a car. You will not lack money. You will not lack opportunities. You will not lack anything. If you can hack into the prayer points I've given to you, you are in a ministry. That is a place that I've called you, but I've also given you an assignment in the ministry. Are you doing it when I sent you? So, can I say it boldly like this? The calling is nice, but not until you are sent. Not until you are sent. And you will recognize that when you respond to the calling, he brings you to a place of provision. Luke 22, 35. And he said unto them, when I sent you without purse. Right, you write these things down. You will be sufficient. Not that you have sufficient. You will be sufficient in your calling if you can know what the assignment is. The assignment. He changed the whole story. In Luke chapter 4, he is going through Sychar. And he has met a woman. And they are tired from their journey. Tired from their journey. So he sat on the well. And he was just waiting for the disciples to go and buy food. And a woman came and... He is ministering to the woman. And the, then the disciples came and said, Oh, we have brought meat. And I said, So you guys have been working with you. You don't know what the will of God is. 434, John 434. You don't know what the will, you don't know what it means, the assignment. You don't know it. That's why you are hungry. Let me tell you, he has given us sufficient food for the journey you are taking. And I can tell you this. Elijah ran when God did not send him to run. And he was hungry. He was hungry. And the only way heaven would provide him food was when the angel met him and said, go and anoint 
Elisha in your office. God purposely. He purposely because his assignment was to live in Israel and challenge the bad gods. But Jezebel made him to run. That made him to enter into hunger. Made him to lack. In fact, the day Jezebel chased Elijah, that day, Elijah lost his servant. People were willing to serve him. There are some people who will never be in this ministry, who will never serve me, who will never be around me if I should not follow my calling. They will not even glue to, they will not even see me. What made Elijah lost his servant was because he was running at a speed or being sent and it was not God who sent him. There is a send away and sending you to your mission. It was sent away. May you never meet anybody who will send you away. Amen. Send you away. You meet people like that. Your, your desire for fasting goes. You, you've lost it. Your desire is gone. That's why you have to be careful people you meet, the people you meet around. Let me share something with you. There is a man of God, I, I should trust you before I take any gifts from you. So a man of God gave me a gift. And the gift came. But the way I look at the gift, it's a very close somebody. I look at the gift, I say, hey, this gift. Something say, take it. Something say, don't take it. Then something said to me, oh, he's a prophet. You know, it's fine. So I took the gift. I held on to the gift. So I decided that I will use the gift. And it was something you consume. So I said, okay, let me put it here. And then let me finish doing my prayers and then I will take it. When I was just in the prayer, I just knock off. I fell asleep. There are ways that God communicate with me. It's like a heavy sleep will come on me like it came on Abraham. And I knock off. When I knock off, somebody was giving me, serving me. But the person who was serving me was serving me alcohol. In the dream. So, I saw it and I said, no, it's not, that's not alcohol. And they say, yeah, it's alcohol. But so, but we brought it to you. So, since you are here, let's give it to you. So, when you go, you go and take the other one. So, I, I, I didn't understand it. Now, I'm in the Caribbean now. And I want to break the fast. So, I ordered something. And I'm sitting and the person who served me, the Lord told me in my heart, he said, that thing is alcohol. So, I smell it. I said, hey, my friend, what is this? Is it rum? Rum, punch rum up. Rum punch. What do you call it? Ram punch. I said, I, to, I told you that it is fruit punch, not ram punch. Then this is what the Lord told me. He said, you would have had the spirit of alcohol, alcoholism, if you took the gift that came to you. So that gift that the few seconds I enter into the sleep, the Lord showed me that that gift that person brought to me was actually my vocal weak point to become alcoholic. Meanwhile, I've never drank in my life. So you, you, you'll be there and then something say drink, drink. And then you have all Bible scriptures. And when you drink, it's not bad. Timothy, now you become Timothy. Paul said to Timothy, because of stomach problem. Then the devil said, oh, because of your waist, you, you were playing football, you fell down because of your waist. Drink a little alcohol. Yes. Do you know why I survived that attack? Is because I am walking in my sending. If I mistakenly walk out of my sending, you will see a preacher. Don't criticize a preacher who is alcoholic. Don't criticize a preacher who is humanizer. Don't criticize a preacher who have diverted away from God. Somebody gave them a gift that took them away from their calling. And from that day, they couldn't hear from God again. It can it, listen, and it's not only men, it's not only women who it's not only women who tempt, tempts man who. There are men who can come into your life. That kiss, he released a serious snake in your stomach. One kiss, lovely kiss. 
They love him. Your body, they do you choo 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 choo. Your body is squeezing you. Your body is criminalizing you. Your body is serpenting you. Be careful. Every one of you, when you finish, go and see Minister MD. Any boy, will even give you a peg, go and see Minister MD. I need deliverance because my body is doing me chi 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 chi. She pray for you, baptize you, become born again, anoint you again, dedicate you before the Lord. I want you to listen to what I'm telling you. And uh, say, this was not ordinary person that came who is coming consultation and he gave, gave me something. You know? And not that the person, the thing the person gave to me is alcohol. No. It's a gift. And you see, some people are very inquisitive. You want me to tell you what gift it is, but I'm not telling you because it, it's not part of the preaching. The part of the preaching you need is what I've told you. Hey, somebody, hey. Dominic, who can? I'm the follower I pray for her. I'm the follower because it's manifesting in the service what I'm preaching. I'm the follower and investigate. Check her very well. Check, check what is going on for me. Hey. Because the moment I mentioned kiss, she started <clears throat> then she held on it and I was watching. Is, is it happening in the dream of physical? No, somebody to ask Dominic for me. Lord, the rest of them, fire. Release them. Expose them right now by fire. Today, I will call fire in this building. Any woman that you are not married and there is a hand of a man around you, it has put you like that. Nobody's... Okay. Are you with me? Yeah. I pray that nobody... Nobody, nobody in your life will ever cross your way and divert your calling or somebody come and whisper to you and you have resentment against your leader or against your co-worker or somebody you are serving in the department with. May nobody, may nobody have access into your life to come and disturb your calling and feel like you are not worthy to be used by God. Your end has come. The devil has terminated your assignment. I pray for you. Oh, come on. Please, lift. You see, you will need this prayer to protect you if you truly want to walk in the calling of God for a long period of time. You need this prayer. You need, you need a certain level of protection. Are you hearing me? Yes. Eh. Grace, it can be, you, you are just watching. You are, you are just on YouTube or Facebook. And you will see something about a church or a pastor. And then your mind will change. It will drop into your spirit. You are fighting it to come out of you, but it will not come out of you. It is, in you. It, 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 it is fighting every pastor you are, you know. You're fighting. You're fighting everybody. I lift my hands over your life. Oh, as your prophet and I pray. He has called you. You will not disappoint God. I say you will not disappoint God. I say you are not going to disappoint God. Your generation will not disappoint God. Your house will not disappoint God. You will not disappoint yourself. Yeah. Hallelujah. Take your seat. So he called us into the ministry and he called us into himself and then we begin to walk in his purpose and his calling. And I said that whilst you are calling, whilst you are in your calling, a lot of people can also call you. The flesh can call you. So you have to also pray that you don't become, you don't last after things. We don't only really last after men and women. We last after things. TV, series, sex and the city. Or city and the sex. This episode, how do you say it? Say it. Say, you know, you have been watching it. Say it. Seven ways to take somebody's husband. Is there, is there another? Oh, you watch it always. Don't be acting like you don't know what I'm talking about. How to be a criminal. There are some people they, they, in their life, they never has any certificate of becoming any uh, inspector. They have been watching uh, 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 the thing that monitor people. What's the name? In, in, inspection thing. The thing that is inspe no, 
there, there is something that we said one episode that investigation every day they are watching investigating investigate they want to investigate people because you know what they are doing for professional gossip investigate gossip hallelujah you will not miss your calling in jesus name family let me tell you something the the best thing ever can happen to you as a human being is to be called by god don't take it for granted are you hearing me to be called by god never and don't let any human being come between you and your calling whether being a wife a husband a friend a cousin never because i've seen people who have exited out of their ministry if you check them that's why when you are going to marry it's very important that the person you are choosing to be your husband is going to be your children's father and is going to be the manager of your ministry whether you like it or not so if you choose a wrong person you are finished the wife you choose is going to be the voice around the flower. I don't know, many, some people have not been around plants before. But there is a plant, when you speak, it begins to fold. And I don't know how true this is. I think I've witnessed it, but I'm not that sure. When you, are, when you put a, a, a chicken in a hot water, and you start pulling off the, the, the feathers, and you start speaking, some, th- some white things start growing out. Is that right? Small, yeah. You see, the people, the small ones, because you, the chicken you eat is always in the fridge. You have not eaten a fresh chicken before. You don't know what is, you don't know how they process it. You don't even know how to take of it. So, you, you don't even understand what I'm telling you. L- let, let the mothers respond. Mothers, is that right? Yes. Mama, is that right? Yes, Papa. Yes, it is right because I remember back home, I seen when my mom is so holy chicken. Like- ah, mama, your mama. Not you yourself. <laughs> Your mama. Ah, mama. Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that, mama? <laughs> you yourself, you have been you see. Now, let me tell something. The voice behind your calling is very sensual. Especially the voice that advise you. One of the things that in my life. I cherish much because it's not common to me. It's a person to advise me. When you are in a certain position, it's very difficult for people to advise you. So your advice is only through mistakes. You do mistakes, then you correct yourself. We don't have it like that. More like there are people, I have sat down with them on several occasions, advised them, but they never listen. And it saddens me because I didn't have the opportunity. All I've heard is you have done well. Wow, you did it. Wow. Nobody ever sat me and said, the ministry, you don't do it like this. Be careful about this. Be careful about that. Be careful about money. Be careful about women. Be careful about fame. Be careful about pride. Be careful you don't think that God is using above everybody. Be careful. You preach well. Of course, you have mama here and there, messages, then she will be an instrumental to say, oh, no, this one it should have been done this way. We have, have that. But in ministry, when you are coming up, you, you, you hear saying that, oh, I had my spiritual father who was telling me this, doing that. Me, I didn't have. All my spiritual fathers you are seeing are spiritual fathers who are spiritual fathers when I became successful. Yes. But when I was coming to a place. So, it's very essential that when you are walking your calling, if God gives you a voice, never in your life, there is a saying, they say that a bad angel that has stayed with you for a long time is better than the new good angel who is coming. Because the good angel doesn't know your weakness. The bad angel knows your weakness. There are people who have stayed with you. You should never, in fact, there are some things I will tell you, don't do. Never change your spiritual father. Because the new spiritual father will only see you. Right now, if I take any spiritual father, he will never know my weakness. He can't help me. I will only be paying tight. But a father who has been with me knows me, knows everything. 
There are things that I, nobody have to tell him. He says, my, my friend, he knows it. Are you hearing me? So in your calling, be careful. That's why you see some people here, the privilege, they don't even see the privilege of it. I used to call people when I'm preaching. I will call names. I don't do anymore. I do few, but I don't, I don't. Why? Because people even don't realize that somebody don't come to church and your man of God will be able to, are you, you, are not, you have not been in church. Like, for example, the people who were coming to church late. Are they the only person who comes to church late? No. There are many people who come to church late. Do I know them? I know them. But there is no coaching relationship. There are many advisors in our lives that one of the reasons why people forgo their calling is because they don't have voice behind them. So he said, when I sent you, did you lack? And one of the things that you may have money, you may have fame, you may have people, but you'll be lacking is a voice of a father. Because a father is not jealous of you. A father wants you to become better than him. A father wants, a father, a father wants to see his better version in you. Now, like finally, I'm just walking around and I'm just thinking about Josiah having triplets of twins, several, several, several. Now, finally, I want to even retire. I want to, I want to retire. I'm just seeing, I want to see the best. A father don't have competition with you. A father will never jealous you. I'm very, very concerned, Dominic. I'm very concerned. The, the way you are moving. MD, did you speak to her? Everything is fine. She's okay. Normal attack. Okay. She said normal attack. It's fine. Somebody said the voice. Can you put your hands close to your ears and say, Father, anoint my ears for the voice of my father. In the name of Jesus, anoint my ears by the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And let me, hear me. Make it a deal. Do not let your father speak twice. Your father, to let him speak twice. Don't become like our former premier who said, you told me I shouldn't drink. I didn't drink at the bar here. <laughs> I was <laughs> He went to drink at it. He went to the other bar. I'm not with that guy. I changed. I changed another guy. He said that guy I should not be with him. I'm not with the girl. That's not the same girl. I changed the girl a long time. Be careful. Once has God spoken. Twice have I known that all powers. Your father is not powerful if you have to speak twice. You can't receive his anointing. He must speak once. And it is always twice in your ears. That that smoke, I want to smoke, but he spoke once. But any time I see, the voice comes second, again. That is what stops you from what you have to do. You know, check your Bible very well. Once has God spoken, and twice have I heard that all powers. So before you can have all grace abound to you, listen to your father once, and let it repeat twice. Anytime you come through challenges and trials. I pray for your maturity. Somebody say, I'm called. Now, whenever you walk in your calling, please, those of us who are writing this, write them down. Your calling is for you to complete, not to complain. You check people who will turn your calling into complaining. Become a habitual complainant. God first matures you before he gives you authority or makes you a person of authority. The book of Hebrews chapter 12. Hebrews 12 speaks about maturity. Can I suggest this to you? That... Growing, maturing in God is knowing the will of God. Maturing in God is knowing the will of God. Jesus said, my, my will, my meat is to do him who called me do his will. You don't know will if you are not matured. 
you know the will if you are matured. That is why he said in the book of Hebrews chapter 12, he said, when Moses came of age, when he was matured, mature people choose. People don't choose them. Mature people choose. Say, My friend, this our friendship will not help us. The way we are talking, this conversation, it will not help us. Mature people choose that. Instead of me to waste this time, I will turn it into prayer. Mature people. Lift your hands and say, Lord, let me be matured. Are you hearing me? Mature people. Now, what is maturity? Every matured person in God must be skillful. Skillful in the word. If you are sitting in the church, as for you have never preached to anybody. Yes, that's what I mean. It's not my thing. Please, it's not my thing. Me, I'm, very, I'm the quiet side. You are the quiet side. We there, we are the talking side. That's for me. I'm very silent. I mean, I do, I'm behind the scenes. God never call anybody behind the scenes. God. In the ministry, it's not, there is no ministry like behind the scenes work. No ministry like that. People who were even behind the scenes, like secret uh, disciples who were building tombs, their name was even announced. They were calling them secret. Secret disciples. How can Nicodemus be secret? Why do they call him secret? Because he came at midnight. Midnight doesn't make you secret. The, boy, the person was talking to Jesus and they were recording it in the Bible. It should have been secret. The Bible recorded that secret. So it's not secret. There is only one secret with God. The secret of the Lord is with them that feareth him. Psalm 25 verse 14. The only secret of God is with the people who fear him. God is a custodian of many words. And there are many things hidden in God. And there are people who trust them for those things. Hebrews 5.12. Hebrews 5.12. Maturity. Count your maturity today. Hebrews 5.12. Huh? For when for the time. For when for the time. You ought to be teachers. This, you ought for the time you need to be teachers. Mature people are teachers. 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 If we don't teach you this one, you'll be coming here, I need my miracle, I need my miracle, and then you get a miracle, you go back and come back again. You are like a baby. You have to give you pacifier. Every time you cry, they have to put something in your mouth. They remove it in yeah. Right now, you are sitting here, you are looking for a job. Job will open. You will be telling us that because of work, you are not able to go to church. Let the boss fire you. And he will fire you for sure too. <laughs> he, will fire you. He, will, he will fire you. Because you are not matured. You, be, you, 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 you need to understand maturity. It said you ought to be teachers by now. Everybody who has followed God, who is sent, your first calling is being a teacher. See, what I'm teaching you right now, don't just write it to Brother Osha. When you finish writing it, make it a point that this message is for somebody. You have to preach it. He said you ought to be teachers. Keep on reading. You have need. You have needs. Uh -huh. that won't teach you again. You need that nobody teach you again. Uh -huh. Which be the first principles of the oracles of the God. The first principles of the oracles of God. So an oracle, a man of oracles, is not the one who performs miracles. Is the one who is teachable and teaching. That's oracle of God. Continue. And are become uh -huh. such as have need. You have become such as need. Of milk. Of milk. And not of strong meat. And not of strong meat. Uh-huh. For everyone that uses milk, everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the word. Is not skillful in the word of righteousness. Of righteousness. For he is a babe. For he is a babe. But strong meat. Strong meat belongs to them. Belong to them that are full of age. That are full of age. Strong meat belong to full of age. I'm just imagine that. By the, when I go home right now, Mama is giving baby boy fufu and cow meat. I would just look at the woman and say, hey, you and your family. <laughs> I'll be shocked. Because the age of the baby now is age that choices need to be made for, her, for him. 
the baby age, demand that choices need to be made for him. Now, if choices of fasting needs to be made for you, you don't know when you have to fast till the whole church is fasting, that means you are still baby. You are not skillful. You can't sense in your spirit that something is bad. That I don't need to see the result of the bad thing before I fast. Let me start fasting to crash it before it manifests. Every second. Minister MD, where are you? Minister Isaac, where are you? For example, yes, when he went to Botswana like that, that means a lot of people, your dreams were bad. Demons beat you proper. Two weeks proper. They beat you. They, those they will sleep with, they sleep with you. <laughs> those that they will ship you, they ship you well. Because your deliverer, Moses, is in Botswana. <laughs> and what is even the mess of it all is when he was in Botswana, I called him. I didn't get him. When I call him, hello, Papa, can you hear me? That means when his line is also not working, that means prayer is, the prayer have no reception. So you have suffered though, sorry. Because you are not matured. You are not matured. If you still stand on this altar and the song they have given to you to sing, you cannot read it and you are still murmuring. You are still using your mouth, our lips. You are adding your lips. You are not mature. You are not skillful. You need to be a wow. They have to beat you with the, with, with the rod of the spirit. Not matured. You are not matured. You are not matured. Till now, instructions they give to you. Some, you stand here and they are praying. Receive the Holy Ghost. And somebody at the back of the camera is still putting the camera on you. The, you see, the camera is communication. When I point here, the person has to point to the people. Receive and the person is still on you. It's something, I don't know whether they are chewing gum or something happened to them. They are not matured. They are not matured. They are not matured. Ah. Read the Bible for me. Be mature and read the Bible. Even those, even those who by reason, who by reason of use, by reason of use, have their own senses. Every mature person, can I suggest this to you? It is a free gift. It is called discernment. When you are matured, the first gift you this you be able to get from God is to discern. You discern to no. This is not the right person. This is not the right path. This is not the person I should be with. No, wait. I sense that there is something happen. I'm going to give myself seven days fasting. I don't know what is going on. But I don't need somebody to tell me when to fast. I have developed it. Because in my calling, there are many obstacles. You shall walk upon scorpions. It is only God who gave us power and told us where we are going to walk. But we are not, we are not even conscious about that. He gave you power and said, you shall walk upon scorpions. And he did not give you power to walk on diamonds. You are walking on snake. Are you not careful? You are walking on scorpions. Are you not careful? These are poisonous places. If I call you right now and I said, ah, I, want you, I want you to go. But you see, there is a good way, good way here. Don't pass there. I'm sending you to go and walk on needles. Walk on broken bottles. Because that is the only path given to you. The other path are not ready to you walk in heaven. There you shall walk on gold. But so long as you walk here, you are going to walk on scorpions. You are going to walk on serpents. You are going to... These are poisonous. But the reason why they will not do you any harm is because you are walking in an assignment. <laughs> Minister Matthew came to me. Um, I don't know why he asked me. Do you remember why you asked me? Why don't I use diplomatic passport? Why did you ask me? Why? Um, because every time we travel, it's like... You know, you go through security and stuff, and I'm like, the senior man of God, he has so much things he's doing, praying for people. You know, you have a lot on your plate. So I'm like, why wouldn't you use the privileges that you... So we're walking at the airport, and he came to me, and I showed that he, 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 I showed that he was watching. And he came to me and said, Papa, why don't you use your diplomatic? Why don't you... Why? I said, nothing. And the reason is because not all my mission... Well, okay, my missions are, my, my missions are always... Um, uh, how do you call it? Like official. Because humanitarian work to the office I operate is always official. Wherever I'm going is official. But I don't deem it as an official. If I don't be in the line, I will not know how they treat people at the airport. I want to have that record. So I don't always reveal myself who I am. But when we're coming, I have my case with me. I want to make the case a little bit proud. Because they don't understand it. So we got to a place like in Bahamas and we are coming. And I show Red Book. 
And then they took us. And these people wanted to follow. <laughs> but the airport differentiates spiritual science and physical. <laughs> so we got out and they're asking, so why did you take your, take your shoes? Why did you take your jacket? No. I said, no, there is a place you don't. There is something God has given to you. Family, hear me. So long as you walk in your official assignment, you are immune. But if you walk out of it, you are not immune. You don't know what you have. That's why you don't come to praises. That's why you don't come to worship. That's why you don't. Because don't ever think that it is only an assignment, an official assignment, when it's about you, that you have to call you and pray for you, and you have to receive a prophetic word. When you miss worship, you've left your assignment as an official. Yes. You lost everything. And the reason why is because we don't understand why we are lacking. It is part of your immunity. You don't have to lack anything. You don't have to. You don't. You don't. Oh, Jesus, I pray for you. Amen. Family, you are big, oh. You are too huge. You are huge. What you have around you. That's why I'll be, I'll be abnormal for somebody to run me out of my calling. I'll be abnormal. It will not be wise to me. Mama, the church where you are, it is different from Romano. Hail Mary, mother of Jesus. It's different from you, that demon. I ban you up. It's different. The shouting is not shouting. Nobody shouts when they don't have power. You only shout when you have power. Have you seen a last corporal shouting in the, in the barracks before? How dare you? But you see those in power. Shut up! Pass here! Because they have authority. This thing we are clapping our hands, eh? It's not for joke. You are commanding things. But you see, you cannot be in command if nobody can command you. He said, I am a man under authority. I say to one, go, he goes. You can, the authority will not work for you if you don't submit to authority. And the only thing, the difference between maturity and authority is that a matured person understands authority. And they are the sons of Isaac. They never break a rank. Name is enough. Name. Why do you think he did not leave his body? He did not leave a physical angel. Did not leave his stone of crown. He did not leave his cross. He left a name. The demons were speaking, and even in the demon realms, they understand names. They say, Paul, I know. Jesus, I know. Doctrine, I don't know. Religion, I don't know. You, who are you? Because when I look at you, although your father is a priest, but you have no respect for your father. That is the reason why you never came in the name of your father's ministry. You abuse your father's ministry, laugh at your father as a minister, and now you are going to use somebody's father's name. The way the demons beat them. Yeah. Acts chapter 19. The demons tear them and they bled. I'm going to tell the prophet. Go and tell. Go and tell. Who is he? I don't care. Why? We are all serving God. We are... Listen, my dear. The ranks of names in the realms of the spirit. Very important. There are sometimes, there are people who say, I will tell mama, please. Okay, we stop. Can we solve it now? Can we, can we talk now? You don't need to go in front of the man or the woman to solve it. If you need the man to solve it in your dream, he will appear and demon will beat you in your dream. And you say, ah, but Papa came in my dream. No, it will not work. Because in my absence, it's not working. All right. wow. Wow. My dear, God took people bodies and trusted them as offerings to you. 
and they are not there to worship. They are there to give him reverence. You give him reverence. And he gives power through them to take care of you. The, 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 the artificial serpent, the brown serpent, was not Jesus. It was a symbol of Jesus. And as a matter of fact, the way snakes have been hunting people, and you see snake beating people, and you tell them to look up, and they'll be healed. It's a challenge. It's a challenge. But it works through the fears also. Let God help you. Am I, am I here? Yes, am I communicating? Yes, sir. It was very difficult for the enemy to just say, okay, I, 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 have, I, have, I, have, I have won. No. Me, there are some fathers that I reverence in my heart. It doesn't matter what they have done to me or what they have heard that they said. I've had people who have called me and so, said, oh, prof, <laughs> you said this is your father. Are you sure? Say, yeah. So he said this, so he didn't mean it. Those people actually never spoke to me again because I didn't believe what they said. Because my friends can fight my battles. You are my equal. We fight equal battles. Fathers have fought battles that I have not gotten there. And because I honor them, I have won it. Now, let me tell you this. This calling thing that I'm talking to you about is not about just you. It's about somebody else. God has called you for somebody. It's not about your name you will get. It's not about the fame you get. It's not about how popular you get. It's about somebody. Every day I walk in my life, I'm thinking about somebody. Because the somebody is the reason why I'm living. Don't let us misquote the scripture. I shall not die. I shall live to enjoy property. I shall live to declare the works. So your living is based on your declaration. If you are not declaring, you are dying. Somebody getting the blessing here. So get matured. Somebody say, I want to be matured. Amen. Get matured. Now, please, let's write these two things. Every matured person learn how to keep a relationship. Keep a relationship. Keep a relationship. Keep. Learn how to keep a relationship. Every mature person learn how to keep a relationship. Every mature person also service a relationship. So it's one thing to keep it and another thing to service a relationship. How do you keep a relationship? Check the currency of the relationship. Check the language of the relationship. Is it honor? What is that that will keep that relationship going? To the Holy Ghost, that which keeps the Holy Ghost relationship going is fellowship. Uh, my dear, talk to the Holy Ghost like you are talking to a human being. Oh, I miss your presence. I want to dine in with you. I just need your grace. The Lord give me permission. I will share this with you. You need to understand that in this kingdom, everybody here, Let me check if somebody can maybe truly get it. What, what, what do you think you are here for? Don't mention salvation because salvation is the number one key. You, are, you, are, you, are, you have salvation, you have it. But after you are saved, what do you think you are here for? Fellowship? Fellowship, huh? Fellowship, huh? I want to hear from those on, live on Facebook too. Why do, you th why do you think we're here? What are you here for? Serve. Okay. All right. All that is good. But the reason why you are here is because I have to feed you. If you love me, saying to Peter, if you love me, feed my sheep. The kingdom always has been about food. The hunger of his people is the reason why he heals the people. That's why he says, healing is a food for the children. In the book of Psalm 23, he led me beside the still waters. He made me lie down in greener pastures. My dear, people don't follow men of God whose leaves are dry. If you are sitting here, you want God to use you, and all you are doing is prayer, you don't have any green leaves in you. No sheep will come around you. This is what I'm doing. is what giving you the, the food. You need to eat. Because hunger, hunger is so dangerous that all migrations, 
People who migrated from one place to another place because of hunger in the Bible. In today, sir, why are you from Botswana here? Why am I from Ghana here? Me, I came to preach. I'm not like you. Jamaica, you came here to come and hustle. Some people here, there are some people you will never become cleaning people, washing them. You will never do it. But hunger, hunger of rent, you, you will wash people. You will, you, I'm telling you, hunger. Look at the way you, you, one person, 13 hotels room in one day. Your waist, look as young as you. Every day when you are standing up, you have to use your hand to support your waist. Your knee has become bowed in the heart. Hunger. Hunger has turned people into prostitution. Not by choice, by hunger. So the first thing heaven is so concerned about is your stomach. Hunger. What do you want to eat? So anytime we come into the church, mama, check the food very well. Check the food you are eating. Because he made everything about us, especially through our mouth, food. He said, man shall be satisfied with the fruit of their lips. So everything about God is about food. I will send you men, Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 15 and 18, who shall feed thee. You need to be fear, fed. People don't know why they are sitting here. Fed. So the same thing when you are going to party, Adelaide, when you are going to party, the same thing you do, especially when you know where you are going. You know how many people who are inviting them into party, they will not eat for three days because of consumption. And there are some people who take purgative so they can use the washroom, just make themselves, they will clean them stomach because they are coming for you. And they never sat anywhere, only close to the kitchen door. And they, they befriend people who work at the kitchen. What's your name? Agatha. <laughs> Aga, you're my friend. Just because once in a while I say, Aga, can you bring me two, two less dance or a greater than? The chicken wings. Brother Cartin is here. Where is he? Cartin should be very careful. If Cartin thinks that the people of this church, they love him, he's deceiving himself. It's because he's a kitchen man. The man of the kitchen. That is why there are some people here. Brother Cartin, where are you? If you think people love you so much, it's, it's not true. It's because you are in the kitchen right now. You are, you are coming from the kitchen. Because once in a while, there are people who don't have money, they would Uncle C. And they will get a small cup. Uncle C. There are people who buy it though, but there are some people who, 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 who I don't want to. It's, 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 so I want everybody to understand that we are. <laughs> oh God. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yeah. How many, there are some people who are so hungry to the point that they have a timer in their spirit. Do you, you know there are some certain friends, they only appear when the food is ready. Like, you, you'll be shocked. They will press the bell, pass it, ha! And when they come, they start the talking. They say, yeah, I've come well, in African language. Pie, I've come well. And they will not even talk and say, how are you? Oh, so where, is the wash, where is the water? Let me wash my hand. And then they will come and sit. They will sit. They have no shame. If you have a friend, mention them like that. Like, mention... Like if you have a friend like stop mentioning Malachi. Stop uh, stop mentioning Malachi. Stop mentioning Malachi. Stop mentioning Malachi. Oh, of course, today I saw him like a Jewish man. Look at him. <laughs> food, when the food is ready, you don't know where they will come from. They will appear. It's like an angel of the Lord is bringing them to a place of provision. Sasha, don't mention people's name, please. Sasha. I'm telling them that the people, they shouldn't mention their name. Feel free, if you have them, just mention their name, food. Somebody say, Minister Osa, hey, your home minister. <laughs> Be careful. I pray for you that you will not be hungry for you to make wrong decisions. Sir, People are so hungry to the point that they don't mind eating from a soothsayer. It's obio. You know that that is obio. 
but you are desperate and you are hungry. Hunger. Hunger kills your discernment. Yeah, right. It's hunger kills your discernment. Hunger kills your intellect. It's a hygiene. You come and tell me I'm hungry and you say, a fly came into my food. And so I should throw the food. Yeah, yucky. It's yucky for you. You are not hungry. You scope where the, the fly stood. If even, if even you are not, you just pick the fly like that and put the fly away and consume it. You, nobody have died out of that. So, when you are not satisfied, you begin to choose food. So when you are very hungry at midnight and everybody is sleeping, you can be even eating orange and eating the, the, the cover of the orange. The skin. So we are in a church because we need to be fed. So when you are coming to church, eh, check your appetite level. And when you close from a church, check whether you are satisfied. Check it. Check it. Check it. And the sign that you are truly in the place that God sent you is that it doesn't matter what they feed you, you will still want more. You still want more. And this, I'm pro- it's releasing on few people here. See what you are writing, you will go home and then something will tell you, just go into the book. And then you find out, ah, did I write this? Wow. Let me listen again. There are some things you are listening. You never thought that you are listening to those things. It is the hunger. You are building your hunger. And the more you build, the more weight you gain. There are a lot of people who are light-weighted. The devil do, you fall. Because you don't have any energy. What does food do? Food gives you energy. Get better nutrition. There are some things you do you eat. If you're not careful, you'll not grow well. There's a people in Kashoko. We have Kashoko in Africa. The person is standing. He's not pregnant. He's a boy. The stomach is like that and the head has gone back like this. And there are a lot of people like that in the spirit. Especially people who want miracles. Every day, miracle. I need a miracle. Oh, Papa is there. Papa is not there. This guy called the Shoko people. Papa is there. They are walking forward, but their head is already back. They are not eating well. Tell somebody, eat well. So we are in the church to be fed. Check the food you are eating. If it is helping you, may God feed your soul. In this your calling, there are food. Now listen, Elijah didn't need anointing oil to complete the journey because the oil doesn't bring you to your destination only. It is the food. He said, wake up and eat for the journey is far. My dear, there are some food you eat. You will finish your calling. And the Bible said, some ate with angels. They ate the food of angels. I pray that you eat supernatural food. I say, I pray you will eat supernatural food. I say, I pray you will eat supernatural food. Lift up your hands, family. We are going to pray right now. We've spoken about a lot of things and we are praying the Lord. Our appetite will build. We will build an appetite for prayer. Build an appetite for intercession. Build an appetite for discernment. Build an appetite for the knowledge of God. We want to build an appetite. We want to walk in our calling. Because if you walk in your calling, you will never lack anything. Lift your hands and say, Father, build my appetite. Increase the volume of my hunger. Let my hunger provoke manifestations in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Pray in the spirit. Let my appetite be built. Let my appetite be built. Build my appetite.
I declare a pie kappa la zapalo a pie la zapea le zapea tire a pie on the lapoa let my hunger let my hunger to worship you my hunger for you Are you hearing me? We need to conquer that demon. The revelation came when I was raising the first prayer point and the Lord said, preserve him, preserve him. Deliver him and preserve him. The, 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 the side, the side that was, I see, the side that I see was this hand. Eh? his hand will not be amputated now apostle stand here I want you to pray hmm? because I saw that you are taking a flight and the flight is like somebody who is going to a place like like it looks like Selman it looks like Selman um, 
there, there is a place, um, Selman is the, what state is that again? No, it's a, a, a different state. Um, where? Okay, okay. I saw you are going to a place, okay? And I saw when you enter into the place, but you were going for a daughter. Your own womb seed. A daughter. And I saw in the realms of the spirit, it's like, it was not a good occasion. The environment was not good at all. Uh -huh. The environment was not good at all. We are going to stretch our hands and begin to pray and ask the Lord that any bad news by the 29th from 20th to the last month, the Lord reverse it. Amen. Somebody say, Lord, Lord, reverse it. Stretch your hands and begin to pray. We break the spirit of that and accident I cancel I cancel accident come young lady come the Lord is going to restore your glory okay I see the hand of the Lord has come upon you and has picked you out and the Lord is preparing is restoring you are you hearing me Regarding accommodation, regarding marriage, and your finance, God will bring a restoration to you. Yeah. Now, anything that has made you think that you are under a curse or a cycle, today, that thing is ending. Yeah. The period of tears, the period of pain has come to an end. And I connect you to the man that is destined to be in your life. Jesus! So come. What do you want from God? What do you want from God? Lift up your hands. You are not on any pills, are you? I want you to pray. Hmm? What do you ask? The Lord is giving it to you. Amen. Whatever you have asked, God is giving it. Whatever you have asked, God said, I will give it to you. Amen. Where is your father? He died of what? Heart attack. Where is my hand? My, you, my hand is where? My hand. Your heart, right? Yes. The same thing that took your father down wanted to take your life down. And it is October 15th. October 15th. I don't know when your father died, but October 15th, I canceled death from your house. Break! <laughs> Madam, how are you doing? Can I pray with you? Please come. Please stretch your hand towards her. I saw a lot of things around this woman. But one of the things that stands out in this is that I saw a demand of her joy and her life and there is a crashing in your spirit there is a battle going on and there are a lot of witchcraft there are things that you didn't know that it will end up fighting you and you got involved we are praying for this woman right here is that your first time here your first time eh? yes it is okay I 
going to pray that the pain that you have gone through and you are going through should come to an end. Amen. It will come to an end. Amen. God will set you free. Amen. You will feel different from today. Amen. You will go out of this place set free, loose, become a better person. You will fulfill your destiny. Take it. Take it. <laughs> Lift your hands and say, Father, I bless you. Where's your wife, Bob? You knew it, eh? You felt it. Come. <laughs> it's my daughter here. One day she sent me a message and said, Papa, do you know my name? I said, no. I said, Papa, you, my name, call my name Mouse. Is that how you call her? Yes. Mount, your name is Mouse. Yes. <laughs> Mouse, let me pray for you. <laughs> a church Mouse, let me pray for you. Now, I saw in the realms of the spirit, this lady was standing around a garden. And I saw seed planted in the garden. The seed was supposed to grow, but the seed were not growing. But all of a sudden, I saw that the atmosphere changed. It looks like the weather that changed released rain to start falling on those seed. There are some things, hear this, there are some things in your life for almost 11 years that the enemy have tried to trample upon it, to destroy it. But whilst you were sitting here, an angel came and told me that to tell you that your season has come. Amen. Whatever you have desired from God and prayed that the Lord should do for you, heaven has seen your heart and heaven is going to respond to you. Amen. Please, add prayer. Add steady time and devotion to your life. You will see the results with immediate speed. Be blessed. Lift your hands and say, Father, I stop, I stop your husband going back to the hospital. I stop your husband going back to the hospital. Are you hearing me? And I stop any union with blood. I stop it. I stop it right now. Because of you and your daughters, the Lord will bring mercy to your home. Yeah. All right. I want to just go and prepare for the praise. So, um, I'm done. Lift your hands. Let me bless you. Wait, wait. Um, there is somebody here. Your side. Your jaw side. There is this. What's happening with your jaw? How long now? For like two weeks now. Two weeks now. Come. <laughs> Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare, heal. Now, I want everybody here, everybody, you want, I want you to do this, everybody. Somebody says everybody. everybody. I want you to pray. I want, I, want, I want you to take this prayer serious. I want you to pray and ask the Lord that may you not and never joke with your calling. Are you hearing me? May you never play with your calling. Do you see me playing with my calling? No, I don't. My dear, in my calling, dear, my calling, I cherish that too much because I cherish my God who called me. So I want you to lift up your hands. And how do you know that you are playing with your calling when you are not serious? Little things can sway you, divert you. And no human being on the face of the earth will have an important call and leave the call and do something else and come back to the call. Just assume that I call you and I'm talking to you. And the papa, wait. And you put me on hold and just standing there looking in the mirror. No. There are some people who have excused their calling because of a physical mandate. And tell the Lord that may I not be the person who will excuse my calling. I want to be so serious. Two prayer points. Be serious. Number two. Give me the fire I began with. Amen. The raw fire. The thing that will not let me even make friends. Will not let me play around. That thing was so strong. It will not even let, let, allow me to come to church late. When I come late, I feel like something is wrong with me. A week without a fasting, 
Ah, that is not me. Lift up your hands. And I please, I want everybody. I want everybody. Let the ladies stand in there come. Please come. Yes, please. You've been here before. Once. You came by yourself and somebody invited you. I came with Patricia. I want to pray for you today. I am believing God for your total healing today. Hmm? A lot of things are happening in this body. Are you hearing me? Watch me. A lot of things are happening in this body. This body is not the same. A lot of things are happening in this body. And we have to pray before the body goes down. We have to sustain. Who brought her? You did? This woman's miracle must be today, not any other day. I saw a scan, and the scan was a part of your body that shows a lot of things in it, like they are concerned about cells of cancer. And the Lord said I should pray against you because the enemy also decided to stroke you, to put stroke in your body. Mama, Jesus, name. we have to pray for you. Amen. There is cancer. The enemy has placed cancer in your body and also there is a stroke. And we have to pray that the Lord will set you free immediately. Amen. Make sure this 30 days challenge, you don't miss it. You set yourself up for this praise. Okay, I declare. I cover your spine, your spine, your spine, your spine. Hey, woman, what is happening with you? My spine. Huh? I couldn't walk uh, years ago. I couldn't walk. The left side was paralyzed. My spine is not together. Uh, How long has your spine not been together? I think it was 2014. 2014. When I laid my hand on her, I saw her spine. And that's why I shouted, your spine, your spine. It's not a physical thing. Your spine is in the realms of the spirit. It's in like, like a lab. It's a lab. And somebody is using needle. He, he pinches it. He pinches it. Mm, yeah, yeah. You feel the pain? You feel the pain? You feel it? Do what you couldn't do before. Let me see. What is it that you do you couldn't do before? Do it. Anything that you used to do and you feel pain, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Keep on doing it. How is the pain? Better. Better. I will tell you this. Ma 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 Mama, I'm telling you this not because I want to scare you or anything. I'm telling you this because God is going to reposition this body. And as a matter of fact, this body of this woman standing here as a temple of the living God, the body here is not good. Half, half stroke. There is cancer. And the spine has blood and a liquid in it that's supposed not to be there. Her leg also, her knee, there's another issue with the knee. So her body is totally somehow. And I thank Jesus. Yes. <laughs> Leave her under the power. Leave her there. <laughs> I love God. Woman, come. Lady, come. Yes, you. Are you a woman, a girl, or a lady? Which one? Which one are you? A woman, a girl, or a lady? Which one are you? A lady. A lady. Okay, lift up your hands. Are you close to your mother? You are very close to her. Uh, she, where is she? She's in um, Nigeria. Where does she go to church? I don't know. You don't know where she goes to church? Every day. Like every day. She goes to church every day. Yeah. Do you know the type of church she goes? Yes. Okay. I'm going to tell you something, and I want you to be prayerful, okay? Just ask the Lord to guide you with wisdom on what to do. Okay. I'm seeing that it's like a picture of a family that is being spread on an altar. 
by the altar that the picture has been spread on, I show that there is something on the picture. It's not oil. It's not what I know to be what it's supposed to be. But I just want you to pray because the oil is only signed on you. It's only signed on you. At a pursuing of trying to protect and believe that God will begin to help anyone who is taking the lead in the family to become blessed, that you can bless other people. If you're not careful, a lot of things will start pointing and begin to attack you. So I want you to pray. Anything that has been marked on you, that will weigh you down, will stop you, fight you, destabilize you. I cast that stronghold and I pray today, ah, the Lord, let the Lord fight this battle. Amen. I'm praying for her and the person said, me, I'll not, I'll not, I'll not leave her. Can somebody give Canadian twenty dollar to her? Twenty dollar Canadian. Thank you. Hold this and say in the name of Jesus, whatever have summons to my life, my destiny in this nation. In this nation, I declare, I declare by the blood, by the blood of, Jesus, of Jesus, whatever sacrifice, whatever sacrifice they, have done, they have done towards me, towards me. Today, today, I do a higher sacrifice, I do a higher sacrifice and I overturn back to the sender. Back to the sender. Say, I overturn, I overcome, I overturn, I overcome. Say, I overturn, I overcome back to the sender. Back to the sender. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, go and put it on the altar. Lift your hands. Are you working? Come. Go on your knees and the Lord give you work from today. I release that favor for you. The Lord has stabilized you. Go and get to work. It's done. I want everybody here, wave your hands. And say, Lord, Every arrow, every eye, every lips fighting me, calling my name for negative things, I return it back to the sender. Clap your hands and begin to pray. Everybody take an offering right now. Take an offering. Take an offering quickly. Moja Concro Moja Deshu Run to the altar and drop it. Yeshu ni moja Madhishe Can I pray for all tithes? Ah uh, Oh La 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 de. Kundili batoma tose kitala. Moja. Be healed in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hey! Kadule pale ama soka pa. 
If you made any pledge and it's here, please come and drop it. Let the Lord favor. If you are having eye problem, put your hands on your eyes and rise up on your feet. No, no, I'm not talking about spiritual. Physical, your eye. Physical problem. Put your hands on your eye. Tonight I declare blurriness. Sight problem. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Let everything becoming worse as top. And I command it to become better. Let it become better. Let it become better. In the name of Jesus. Rise up on your feet, everybody. Listen. There is a gift here. Everybody lift your hands. I want you to call the gift of the Lord. Whatever you want to be gifted with, tell the Lord to drop in your spirit. Take it, take it, take it. Pray for the gift of the spirit. Lift your voice and speak it. Open my eyes to see. Grant me the ability to prophesy. Grant me the ability to heal, to preach. Grant me the ability to speak over nations. Ability to be accepted. Let my ministry be accepted. Pray for acceptance. I love that prayer point. Pray for acceptance. May I be accepted. May I be accepted. May I be accepted. May I be accepted. Pray for it. Pray for acceptance. Pray for acceptance. Pray for acceptance. Pray for acceptance. La Palama Zukapa. Acceptance from the Lord. In Jesus' name. Hear me. On Friday, there's a prophetic instruction. Everybody, get yourself your oil and a white top, a white t-shirt. A white t-shirt. I will give you an instruction for this month. There are some people you'll just be walking and people will be calling you for what you've been looking for. Amen. Are you hearing me? marriages we will have a lot of testimonies of that we will also have testimonies of people the things that have rejected you you will receive the spirit of acceptance amen, amen. minister please i want you to come and do something for me md come take the church into three minutes prayer just three minutes three minutes no seed just three minutes I want to leave you and just do three minute prayer and set a time for three minutes after three minutes the moment you hear amen just sing the song and then you guys can leave let's celebrate our father <laughs> lift up your hands I want us to pray for the fresh fire, the fresh baptism of the Holy Spirit, that God will take us to a higher level. 
that will be consumed by the fire of the Holy Spirit. Begin to pray. Kaduvi kataya, e kadu sapaya, li pato shantele baha. Lord, consume us with fire. Baptize us with fire. Let us be vessels unto you. Consume us, Lord. Shaka kapa, rupa sifete kapa, li pato shantele baha. Oh, consume us with fire. Baptize us afresh. Let there be newness. Newness of gifts. Let us walk in our calling. Ah, oh, let us take it to your voice. Let us follow your precepts. Baptize us afresh. Baptize us afresh. Refresh us. Oh, Kadumi Katalabasa. Oh, somebody pray. Somebody pray that prayer. Oh, refresh us, Lord. Refresh us. Let the zeal of God consume us. Let God consume us. Let the Spirit consume us. Take us into higher dimension. Take us into higher realms. Oh, the deep call us unto the deep. Oh, God, cause us to walk in the deep. Padu kapalu, zata pakapa, ripa supertepa, liko patosha. Let us rise in giftings. Let us rise in soul winning. Padu sapeo, lipa toto pata, lika pata sepeta, rapa sepe, lipa toko pa, lipa kate kapa, lipa toko pa, lepe supata, rapa sete peke, lepa supata, leke tamahua, aparosa, aparekepe, aparekepe, aparekepe. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Is there anybody who is here for the first time? If you are here for the first time, we'd like to celebrate you. Clap your hands as they come. Church, stretch forth your hands. It is the mandate of the church that when you come here, under 24 hours you receive a breakthrough but as for you you already received it before hallelujah stretch forth your hands and pray for her and her family father in the name of jesus by the divine mandate of this church we decree and we declare divine acceleration repositioning in the name of jesus let the glory of the lord rest upon her and her family in jesus precious name amen you can take it we have a wonderful team that will give you knowledge. Amen. Clap your hands for her and celebrate her. Hallelujah, somebody. Is there any tithes? Is there anybody with tithes? It's done already. Amen. So you are ready for the challenge at T11, right? Hallelujah. Praise God. May we receive a closing song.
Arena family, well, as you have heard from the man of God tonight, that there is a divine destiny for all of us. And do not let anyone or any person deter you from your calling. And I hope that you are encouraged. You have been set on fire, set ablaze by the word of the man of God on tonight, that you receive fresh zeal and fresh fire. There is no time or space in the realm of the spirit. And so I hope that you are encouraged. Be a blessing to someone else and share this service on tonight. And until Thursday at 5 a.m. and of course Friday at 10.30 p.m. We see you next time. Good night. In a world where innocence is stolen and lives are shattered, there is a silent epidemic that robs millions of their freedom and dignity. But in the darkness, there are voices rising, voices determined to break the chains of human trafficking. Join us for an event like no other, Voices Against Trafficking, a community awareness event. An event where voices unite to shine a light on the signs, the stories, and the solutions to combat human trafficking. This isn't just a statistic. These are real lives, real people, whose voices have been silenced. His Excellency Prophet Dr. Kofi Danso and the International Association of World Peace Advocates in collaboration with Covenant House Toronto invites you to join us on April 6th at 5 p.m. Voices Against Trafficking, a community awareness event. Together, let's make a difference.